This is not an easy time to be a politician in B.C. She may not be in hot water with her peers, but Oak Bay Gordon head MLA Ada Chong is not popular with the Fight HST proponents. She is the first Liberal minister to be targeted in the recall initiative, looking to pressure the province into scrapping the HST. And as A-News reporter Aaron Glazier shows us, I get used to seeing throngs of signature-seeking canvassers in yellow vests in the riding over the next 60 days. Support the recall, support it's day one of the recall Ida Chong petition, and the committee had their big gun front and center. What we're seeing in BC today is leading the country. I think it's, it's probably a first in the Commonwealth where we have real democracy in action. People power for the first time in history. The science and university minister is the first MLA to be targeted in this recall campaign as the fight HST movement begins to hunt down liberal cabinet ministers who supported the contentious tax. She has, she has not only endorsed all the actions of the, the government, but on the HST, she's a, she's a super fan. She's out there, she's a cheerleader. The petition needs to collect just over 15,000 signatures to be successful, but the group is aiming for 17,000 to be safe. I'm hoping this will be the first successful recall and the only one required before the government changes its position and cancels the HST. But if they don't, we'll keep going. Just seven MLAs would need to be recalled to bring down the provincial government and force an election. If that happens, who knows who might end up winning a seat. Then we'll all have a Merry Christmas, a happy, healthy HSC Free New Year. And now that the recall petition is officially underway, canvassers will be knocking on every door in the Oak Bay Gordon Head riding, as well as standing on street corners, making people aware of exactly why they are out here. The government lied to us. It's that simple. And this MLA supports the government's position. But with both the NDP and Liberal parties now seeking new leaders, some say a change in policy is already on its way without the recalls, and Chong agrees. We are going to see a referendum take place in less than a year, perhaps even sooner, that everyone, not just the 15 or 18 percent who signed a petition, but all the others who didn't sign have their voice, and I think that's an important process. And so does the Independent Contractors and Business Association, who stopped the recall ads have already hit the airwaves. Recall. Don't trust them. Don't sign. The group says Chong has been a good MLA and the recall is being misused as a political gain by the NDP and Labour movement. But with 59 days to go, canvassers say they intend to show the provincial government that people don't want the HST. In Saanich, Aaron Glazier, A News.